so this morning uh, part of part of part of my assignment is to make a deposit as well as to uh, to help us to believe and to project for the year ahead so this word uh is is designed to help you locate yourself one two is going to help us uh locate some of the stuff that becomes potential uh inhibiting forces or factors uh in our life and what we're dealing with in Zimbabwe in South Africa in Africa as a whole and potentially globally and then we'll try and see how best we can launch into 2023 how many of us are looking forward to, to 2023 how many of us are looking forward to 2023 some of the guys in the lower auditorium because because for whatever reason 22 has been 22 You know, there's some stuff that happened and some things that didn't work out according to our plans and stuff like that. So we really believe in God for a blessed 2023 and beyond. So, um, so this word is going to help a student. It's going to help a businessman, a businesswoman, a mom, a dad, a single parent to help you to project for the future. It is designed to. for that intent so somewhere in the message you will feel something will grip you you will feel that uh, enough is enough this belongs to me somewhere in the word you will feel that some of us this evening you will dream again uh if you lost your dreams in the process you will dream again and you will dream in 3d and 4k and 7k but you're going to dream again somebody say amen now somebody say amen you're going to dream again I don't care what happened I know it was bad we we all went through some stuff we all had to deal with covid we all had to deal with losses in business and money and opportunities all of that stuff happened but ladies and gentlemen brothers and sisters I'll come here on this Sunday morning because I feel that God is launching us into a new season I feel God is launching us into a new dimension of opportunities somebody say amen, amen. all right So uh I've done a little bit of uh reading and um, I've I've been asking myself what has been happening with us as a family or as the family of man over the past uh, 15 20 years and what I've discovered uh, was that um we went through through ups and downs as as people emotionally that's globally uh nations uh experience a variety of things and and we somehow uh had to try and figure certain things out uh the media would feed us with some stuff now and then and we had to try and figure out things for ourselves uh so uh, how many of us remember uh the uh, the panama papers the panama papers that was a very interesting leak uh and we saw names that we never thought would appear people that claimed to be with us in the struggle uh that were not really with us in the struggle um and and it was a very interesting season because we were all wondering who else is on the list who's but but why are they hiding things from us and we all thought that we are in this thing together but we then discover that we are not really in this thing together uh it is us and them it is the ones that have and the ones that have not it is the ones that have more and the ones that have less <laughs> so so and then and then we had to deal with that reality because i was asking myself but, but why would somebody go and leak that and how did it really happen then i discover that cyber security is a very interesting component or hackers in general then uh, i was asking god but so if if companies like i think yahoo was hacked many years ago um 
there's a few prominent companies and even governments, because I studied some of these guys and uh, to come and discover that uh, hackers could, uh, uh, could switch off an entire city. New York City was switched off within five minutes. Water supply, electricity, uh, the internet back in the day was, was switched off within five minutes. Somebody hacked this system. Ask myself a question, what is happening here? Because if systems can be hacked, don't we think that the body of Christ was also hacked? The church was hacked. We got hacked. <laughs> All right. So then what is the purpose of a hacker? A hacker comes to plant a virus into your system. The minute you granted permission, the virus spreads. The minute you granted access into your system, the virus spreads. And maybe more people might know much more about hacking than me. Apparently, uh, Apple laptops uh, has this antivirus that, you know, you really cannot have a virus on your system. Apparently. Apparently. So then, in Hebrews chapter 6, let's, let's go to Hebrews chapter 6. Hebrews 6, 17. Don't worry, I'm starting off slow. It's, it's, it's all intentional, don't worry. Trust me. Hebrews chapter 6, Verse 17. Hearing God willing more abundantly to show unto the heirs of promise the immutability of his counsel. Confirmed it by an oath that by two immutable things in which it was supposed or, or, or in which it was impossible for God to lie, we might have a strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay or, or to lay hold upon the, the hope set before us. Matthew 24, 24. For there shall rise false Christs and false prophets and they shall show great signs and wonders in so much that if it were impossible they shall deceive the very elect of God <laughs> let's go to Mark chapter 13 22 for false Christs and false prophets shall arise and shall show signs and wonders to seduce if it were possible even the very elect. 1 John chapter 4 verse 1 to 3. Beloved, believe not every spirit but try the spirit whether they are of God because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know he the spirit of God if every spirit that confess that Jesus Christ is come into flesh is of God and every spirit that confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of antichrist whereof you have heard that it should come. And even now already is it in the world. Uh, so, my personal view is that false prophets have hacked our system. They have, they have come to 
to spread a virus in the body of Christ. They just didn't come to spread a virus, but they've come to destroy our faith and our belief in our God. False prophets have come, ladies and gentlemen, to derail the believer from the path of righteousness. And we've been dealing with some of them in South Africa. So then what are the characteristics of false prophets or teachers? So let me give you a few characteristics, maybe six of them. Is it fine? Five or six? Number one, according to 2 Peter chapter 2, verses 1, the first marks mark of a false teacher or prophet, they reject the sufficiency of Christ's works. They reject the sufficiency of Christ's works. Number two, the second mark of a false teacher or prophet, they do not accept God's word as the final and ultimate authority. Number three, they may attract big crowds and have many followers. 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 2. The fourth mark of a false teacher. They are full of greed. They are full of greed. The fifth mark of a false prophet or false teacher is they deny the doctrine of hell in judgment. 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 3 to 9. The sixth mark of a false prophet or teacher is they have an unsubmissive attitude towards authority. There you get from verse 10 to 12, 2 Peter. The seventh mark of a false teacher, they are outwardly religious but inwardly empty. Can I give you another one? The eighth mark of a false teacher is they promise liberty, but they bring bondage. They promise liberty, but they bring bondage. I don't have to give you stories. We've got people that, that sold their properties to go and give the prophet the money. You've got people that sold their, their houses, their cars, and emptied their bank balances. It's, it's, it's crazy stuff. Uh, uh, I can't deal with all of that. It's a lot of them. <laughs> One of the craziest reasons why these guys exist, according to just some of my brief study, is that, yes, they are demonically inclined, and what they do, they create this world for people where you have unrealistic expectations of yourself. That's how they've come to hack the system. They also help you to develop Poor insight, poor visibility. So they come to blinden you. They've come to derail. So I was saying to God, God, so 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 where are we at as the body of Christ? Because somehow we, we, are, we are dealing with uh, so much, so much challenges, so much issues. Um, I don't know how many of us are tired of hearing about the curse. 
is this generational curse, is that bloodline curse, is that this, it's, it's all that stuff. But, but, but somewhere in our journey, we now have to get into the true promise and the true blessing of God. I'm, 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 I'm tired of, 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 of dealing with the same stuff year in and year out. Because I've got so many people coming to me and saying, Bishop, can you please cast out this? Or can you please cancel this generational curse? Can you please cancel that? Some of it is not even a generational thing. It is what this false narratives that's been planted in the minds of people where, where all that you need to do is to develop a skill. Develop a skill. Yes, we, we're not foolish regarding uh, what was, the, well, the past and all of this stuff. But now, how, how many more times must you renounce? How many more times must you cut off the bloodline? It's just a question. That, that's just me thinking out loud. How many more times? Yes, yes, yes. How many more times uh, must we fight uh, my great, great, great grandmother's issues that I can't control? <laughs> and I'm saying to God, God, somehow people are tired. The body of Christ, we are tired of all that stuff. We want to get into the blessing of God. We want to get into the full promise of God. We, 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 we're tired. Ah, well, that's well as me. Well, we've been in a season where you have to name it. You have to claim it. And then you also have to frame it. But now, but now, when are we moving now from name it, claim it, frame it into possessing it? We have to move somewhere beyond naming it, claiming it, and framing it. Somebody say amen. We, we. We have to move beyond all that stuff. We have to move there. So then, in, well, in order for us to move, at least now we know what false prophets have come to do. That's negative. So now we know that in, well, over the next five years, which I believe that the body of Christ is coming into some powerful things. We are accessing uh, explosive stuff. We are coming into wealth that don't really make sense. That is a fact. We're coming into opportunities that, 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 that's going to blow our minds. Uh, the church is, is literally waking up. The church is taking her rightful position. Somebody say amen. So now that we're taking our rightful position, we are not taking no for an answer. We're not taking no for an answer. We will match whoever uh, on, on all levels, anointing, qualifications, experience, skills, all of those kind of stuff. We are coming into those things. We are no longer just saying it. We are no longer just quiet. Uh, we are about sitting uh, in the pews. And we are happy coming to church, clap our hands, sing Kumbaya, my Lord, and all of those kind of stuff. But now we also have something to say. We also have something to offer. Somebody say amen. My daughter said to me on Friday, Daddy, well, she said to me, well, next year, well, she said, well in the second, uh, she's finishing uh, final exam. That's, uh, that's standard or matric, grade 12. And she said, well, in actual fact, uh, I will only see you on the 24th, you and your wife. <laughs> I'm like, how? So how does it work? She said, no, we, 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 we want to go away without you. I'm like, okay, wow, that's, uh, that's a new one. That's a new one for us. <laughs> so, well, so my mainframe scrambled a little bit because I couldn't really understand where is this going to. And she said to me that... Uh, do you think that we always want to be with you every day, every week? <laughs> oh, wow, uh, that's what we believed. That's what we thought you wanted to be. <laughs> said, no, no, we, we just want to be, thank you for doing what you've done. But now we want to go away. But not with you guys. You can go with your wife wherever you guys want to go to. We will see you. When we go and see Granny and you, and in actual fact, we, we'll find a way to get there. Just give us the money. <laughs> now, that's a discussion. I'm busy preparing for Zimbabwe and I have to deal with that whole situation there. And she said, well, if the truth be told, um, you will always be my father. So just let go of us 
for this period. Because we've worked hard. Next year, in actual fact, for five months, you won't see me. Because I'm going to Italy, Germany, Spain, and what, and what, and what, and what. So now you, so now you can imagine in what frame of mind did I come to Zimbabwe. <laughs> Not like you grow them up to let them go. I didn't think that will ever happen. So, uh, somehow, somehow, ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, I said to God, help me get to the point where, where we are so blessed that, and I, when I, have to, I have to make this example just to get a point across. Uh, help me or help us to get so blessed that the day when I die, my children must actually be standing there around my coffin and say, why didn't you die a long time ago? All this money, all this money, all this wealth. <laughs> Not when you pass on, they're like, oh my God, please bring him back because there's still unresolved issues. Somebody say amen. So, 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 so I'm in that kind of a zone where I'm saying, God, let great, well, let my great, great grandchildren experience the blessing of God. Let them know that there is a God. Let them know that what their great, great, great grandfather have been doing, traveling the world, preaching Monday to Sunday, all night prayers, all the stuff we've been, and all that stuff was not in vain. It was not in vain. Yes, we're trying to educate ourselves, upskill ourselves, getting this degree, that qualification, get bamboozled by professors and doctors and whoever uh, that don't really want you to get your PhD. <laughs> ah, Jesus. I just want to be at home. Is it fine? Can I, can, I, can, I, can I just be real this morning? You know, you know I'm doing my PhD. So, so I've got this professor that is giving me I'm telling you, I'm saying, the, the man, he broke me. You know, you know, you, you know, you get broken. When well, you've got nothing to offer anymore. You think, no, no, Vince, sorry, sorry, sorry. You are a pastor and a bishop there, but not here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we want it in that way. Don't come and write with your colloquium styles here. <laughs> oh, Jehovah. Very interesting. It was it, no, this is an interesting journey. It's a very interesting journey. It's very, very interesting. It's very, it's very. This, this man broke me. Where I've got nothing to offer. I'm like, okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. What else? In which way do you want it? How else should I do it? How else? <laughs> so I phoned a few of my friends. I said, so guys, can you please help me? How do I deal with this academics? Because I'm not an academic, I am not. I'm not from any faculty. I'm from, I'm a church boy. They said, just give them what they want. In the way they want it, when they want it. And all I'm doing, I'm fixing him up. Like, oh, thank you very much, prof, man. Wow, that's nice. What else do you want me to do? Let me write. Like, all right, that's nice. So, so that's what I'm doing now. So, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, um, the concept of immutability is very interesting. Uh, the immutable blessings of God is very interesting because it, it positions us for the blessing. When we at least, okay, let's just try and define immutability. Uh, immutable simply means unchanging. Immutable means unchanging. It's unchanging. Or it's unable to change. Uh, immutable is also changeless. Immutable also connotes unalterable. Invariable. It's ageless. It's immovable. The immovable blessings of God. It's steadfast. When something is immutable, it's inflexible. It's static. The economy cannot change it. Hackers cannot hack it. 
demons cannot camouflage it because it is immutable. So Deuteronomy chapter 8. Let's go. Verse 1 to 11. And all the commandments which I command thee this day shall, shall you observe to do, that you may live and multiply and go in and possess the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers. And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God led thee these 40 years in the wilderness to humble you and to prove thee to know what was in your heart, whether thou wouldest keep his commandments or not. And he humbled thee and suffered un, well, thee unto hunger and fed thee with manna, which thou knowest not. Neither did thy father know that he may make thee known that men do would not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of, Lord, of the Lord. Do would man live. Thy raiment wax not old unto thee, neither did thy foot swell for 40 years. Thou shalt also consider in thine heart that as a man chastened his son, so the Lord thy God chastened them. Therefore, thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God to walk in his ways and to fear him. Ladies and gentlemen, this is very interesting because we are being prepared for, for some stuff. We are now being set up for a season that is going to alter our entire lives. Uh, we are being set up for a time that I believe that your haters will not be able to handle you any longer. Uh, the people that wrote you off, they will not be able to understand what is about to happen to your life. Somebody say amen. Tell a person next to you, watch what's coming next. Watch, no, come on, come on, please. Say it like you mean it. Say neighbor. Watch what's coming next. It reads as follows. For the Lord thy God bringeth thee into a good land. God is bringing you into a good land. I'm not asking you. I am commanding. I'm telling you. I don't know in what land you found yourself for the past 15 years or 9 months or 12 months. But God is bringing you into a good land. Somebody say amen. A land of brooks of water. A land of fountains and depths that springs out of valleys and hills. Here's it coming, verse 8. Here's the power. And a land of wheat, a land of barley and vines, and fig trees, and pomegranates, a land of olive oil, a land of honey, my God, and the land wherein thou shalt eat bread, Without any scarceness. I don't know in what kind of season you found yourself in. But God is getting ready to, to actually move you from one level to the next level. Ladies and gentlemen, your days of, of starvation is over. You are coming into a season of the blessing of the Lord. We are coming into a land of more than enough. Somebody say yes. Somebody say yes. Somebody say yes again. The land where you shall eat bread without any scarceness. And you shall lack. And my God, there's no more lack coming your way. Lack is over. Lack is over. Lack is over. In this season, God is, God is starving. God is stopping every area of lack in your life. Somebody say amen. We are saying farewell to pain. We are saying farewell to suffering. We are saying farewell, my God, to, 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 to conniving spirits and demons and devils that lied to us all these years. But now we are getting ourselves ready to enter into the seven, my God, blessings of the promised land of God. Somebody say yes. Somebody say yes, it's immutable. Those things are immutable. The first dimension that we are entering in, we are entering into a land of wheat. Wheat simply means revelation knowledge. Your season, my God, of lack of bread or lack of revelation is coming to an end. Say yes. Say yes. Number two, you're coming into a land of Bali. Bali simply means multiplication in leadership. God is about to multiply every area of your life. 
your, your mind, your brain, your, your cerebral capacity. God is bringing you to a level, ladies and gentlemen, where leadership is now giving, where God is granting you access into some leadership opportunities. Now the season is coming now where we have to access this stuff. I am tired of being, my God, sitting there in the back row. Now it's time for us to lead. We thank God for those that has gone before us. But now it's your turn to lead. Say yes. Say amen. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, your season has come as a female. I don't care what your background is. I don't care whether you're from a poor background or not. You are coming into a season where God will make you a leader. God will make you a leader. Can I get my monitors? God is going to make you a leader. Oh my God, the devil is a liar. I know we've been struggling and we've been suffering for so long. But God is bringing us into the seven blessings of the promised land. Number three is vines. Now God is giving you the spirit of life. Spirit, the spirit of life is coming to you. Your dead dream, your dead vision. God is bringing life back to you. The devil thought they killed you when they connived against you back in the day. But guess what ladies and gentlemen the spirit of life is given to you. Now resurrection is made possible to a brother and a sister behind or even in front of you. Look at your neighbor say neighbor life is coming back to you. Your dream your vision. My God I know it was tough. I know it was a difficult season. Yes yes yes. My God imagine and five of your friends, five of your close relatives, they, 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 they had their own meeting. My God, on the one side here, on the one side your friends had a meeting and they excluded you. My God, conveniently they excluded you out of the meeting and yet they're discussing billions and millions. And the question is, God why have they done that to me? But brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, the anointing of God is getting ready to hoover over your life. I know you thought that dream. I know you thought that vision is dead but life has been given to it. Access is granted to you. The devils thought they fought you. My God Oh my God, it blocked you from getting access to do your uh, chemical engineering degree. The devil is a liar. Your spirit felt like you are dying, my God, all there by yourself. But in 2023 and beyond, I feel God is giving somebody a lifeline. Yeah, yeah, yes. There's a lifeline being given to somebody. There's a lifeline being given to somebody out there. If your name is Vincent Blennis uh, and somehow you know that God has got to be God uh, in the middle of your storm. Uh, my God, where your back was against the wall uh, and you've got nowhere else to go but God. Uh, and out of the blue, God comes uh, and God throws you a lifeline. Uh, that business my God, that you thought will not make it. My God, everyone else around you is succeeding and they're successful. My God, they do this, then money's coming in. They try that, money's coming in. They try that, money's coming in. And you're asking yourself, when is it my turn? When will I make money? My God, I wrote the business plan. Bishop told us in 2010, he said you have to have a life plan. So now you crafted your life plan. One year, three year, four Five here, seven here, 20 year life plan. My God, my God, we heard Africa. Oh my God, David Lash, you told us uh, that my God, well, if Africa, well, 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 if America has to stop developing today, it will take Africa 150 years, my God, to catch up with the West. Uh, so, God, we have the plan, uh, but the Rothschilds has the money. Uh, so, when are you going to open up a door? Can I get more monitors, please, my brother? So, what happens now? Brothers and sisters, you are looking at your vision, you are looking at your dream, and you're asking God, God, where are you? My dream, my baby is about to die. So when are you going to give me life? I need some life support. I need advanced life support. I need intermediate life support. I may even if I get basic life support, but I need some support. My God, everyone else is getting supported. Then the uncle is giving them money and the auntie from Europe is giving him 5,000 pounds and a million dollars is coming from there and from there but what about my dream? 
Yes, I want to connect with Zev. Yes, we want to feed Africa, but we don't have the money. My God, to feed the entire continent. Elon Musk can buy to my God with 40 billion red. I'm saying bring that money here. We need some life support in the body of Christ. Somebody say yes. I feel the power of God. I don't know who am I preaching to here on the Sunday morning, but God is giving you life support. Life support is on the way. Life support is on the way. Life support is on the way. It's difficult, but what happened now? Your one foot is in the promised land, but you haven't yet been dunked in the seven blessings of God. My God, you only experienced maybe wheat and barley, but now, my God, the vine is about to explode over your life. I am the vine. And you are the branches. Jesus, I need you in this season. I need the power of a risen Christ. I've applied in Canada. I've applied, my God, with a Danish embassy. And I've been asking them, please, we need a sponsor or we need a donation. But no one wants to donate. Ladies and gentlemen, somehow we have to now look up unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Say yes. Come on, New Life Covenant Church 2023. My God, the spirit of life is about to be released over your life. Say yes. And the fourth blessing is fig trees. God is going to cover you. Your husband, your wife is getting covered. Your nakedness is getting covered. Your dream and your vision is getting a covering. Say yes. Shout cover me. Cover me under your shelter. Cover me under your shelter. There's covering coming. There's anointing coming. There's angels coming. Angels have come. They are on an assignment to your business. Your business will be COVID proof. Your idea, your son and your daughters, ladies and gentlemen, they will be cyber hacking proof. In the name of Jesus, say yes. Clap your hands, oh he people. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph. I'm nearly there. And the full blessing is pomegranate. Pomegranate is generational blessing. I am tired. I am tired of me. Oh my God. Imagine I'm the only one that can be blessed. I'm asking God, bless me, but bless my children. Bless my children's children. I need a blessing of pomegranates. There must be a multi-generational blessing of God over your life. Say yes. We are tired. Yes, they told us. Yes, we read of multi-generational curses so if there's a curse there must be a blessing if there's a multi-generational curse of blindness sugar diabetes my god i said to god god if that is there what about your blessing so in blessing i will bless you in multiplying i'll multiply you so brothers and sisters ladies and gentlemen kiss pain Goodbye. Kiss the curse. Goodbye. Kiss it goodbye. Devil, you don't stand a chance. I am a multi-generational blessed man. Multi-generational female. Say yes. Can I get 700 women in the building? Shall I am blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Let's go. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Can I get?
yet the man to join them. Shout, I am blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Blessed in the city. Blessed in the field. Blessed when I come. Blessed when I call. Blessed. Blessed when I have. Blessed when I have not. I am blessed beyond measure. I am blessed. The devil can't handle me. I am blessed. And number five, the sixth blessing is olive oil and anointing of empowerment. God will allow you to empower others and anointing that is transferable. Is an anointing that is disseminatable. You can disseminate the anointing on your life. You can disseminate the power and the grace on your life. I've come here to activate every son, every daughter in this building that God has blessed you with an ability to empower others, empower mothers, empower the orphans, empower the homeless, empower sons, empower daughters. Say yes. I have the anointing of empowerment. And number seven, honey, 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 God is granting you access to honey. It simply means opportunity and ability to finish what you started. Yes, Al Kelly, I believe I can fly. I will fly. You have to fly. You have to fly. In this season, you will finish that house that you started, that building project. You will finish that project. You said you're going to do your degree. Finish it. Finish your degree. Finish it. Finish your studies. Finish it. You started to rebuild the car. My God, finish it. Finish it. You said you want to go to divorce. Go. Go and get your passport. But go to divorce. Somebody shout. I have an anointing to finish what I've started. Because I am blessed. Because I'm blessed. I am blessed. And finally, you will have bread without any scarceness. Revelation is coming to you as they traveling in clusters brothers and sisters ladies and gentlemen you can be in a place called Lodiba and you have no bread what God does God will step in into Lodiba and smack you with a blessing of revelation knowledge shout revelation revelation travels in clusters they travel in clusters they've come on this day I know it's difficult I know it was tough but brothers and sisters you on the internet you have to understand we are getting into the seven blessings of the promise of God God is ready to release revival the earth is expecting it the church is desiring it but we want it so we need Jesus the greatest revival of all times high five five people tell them the blessing of no more scarceness is on your life come on tell me come on tell me come on tell me share yeah. Yes, I feel the anointing. Yes, I'm from a poor background. But guess what? When revelation kicks in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I'm from a poor background. Lived in a one-bedroom house. The toilet, the bathroom, everything. But brothers and sisters, when the power of God gets ready to walk in your direction, God will bless you with a block of flats. God will bless you with a license for diamonds. God will give you your own mind. You trade in gold, platinum, rhodium, and lithium. Say yes. Say yes. 
Don't look at your boy or your girl just like that. There's an anointing on your life that will be transferred to them.